Hello friend, in this video we will discuss a simple graph and its uh, theorem in graph theory. So first we will discuss definition of simple graph. So what is a definition? A graph with no loop and no parallel edge uh, is called a simple graph. Means uh, for any graph with any number of vertex, uh, if it is not contain any loop or a parallel edge, then this graph is called a simple graph. So in this graph, uh, uh, this is a four vertex here, and there is no any loop and no any parallel edges. So this graph is a simple graph. And the second graph, uh, there is a loop at the vertex A, and there is a parallel edge between B and C. So that is not a simple graph here. So first graph is a simple graph, and second graph is a not a simple graph. So now let us discuss uh, its theorem. Uh, so that maximum number of edge uh, in a simple graph with n vertices is n into n minus 1 by 2. So it is a statement uh, here. Uh, we have to show that maximum number of edge uh, in any simple graph with n vertices that equal to n into n minus 1 by 2. So let us prove that. Uh, so let us take G is a simple graph with n vertices. And for easily understand the proof, uh, here we are consider uh, the n equal to 4 vertices and by using this 4 vertex, we will prove that this theorem is also true for n vertices that. So let n equal to 4, here it is a 4 vertex v1, v2, v3, v4 and now we have to create the edges that uh, between all the vertices that. So let us connect first vertex to remaining all. So how many possibility to connect the first vertex? Uh, v1 to v2 v1 to v3 and v1 to v4 so let's connect that so there are three edges uh, which can uh, which we can create uh, from the vertex v1 v1 to v2 v1 to v3 and v1 to v4 so first vertex connect at most three vertices there so how many edges uh, will be created there there are three edges that uh, four vertex here and first vertex connect to remaining three vertices and you can get uh, three edges uh, from the v1 so if we consider here n vertices that so the first vertex will connect n minus one vertices uh, which create a edges between uh, v1 to v2 v1 to v3 v1 to v4 up to vn uh, v1 to vn so first vertex will connect n minus one vertices and how many edges uh, will be created in the n vertices graph uh, the first vertex will connect n minus 1 vertices. The number of edges will be the n minus 1. So now for second vertex V2. So what is the possibility to connect V2? So V2 to V1 is already connected here. Now remaining is V2 to V3 and V2 to V4. V2 to V3 you have to create the edges and V2 to V4. So there is a two possibility at the vertex V2. So for a second vertex uh, you can connect at most two vertices here v2 to v3 and v2 to v4 so this is a scenario of the second stage uh, that is age from v2 to v3 and v2 to v4 so uh, if uh, this graph contain n vertices so for second vertex possibility there are n minus 2 vertex you can connect from the second vertex here it means the number of edges will be the n minus 2 at that place so now for third case at a third stage v3 so v3 uh, we have to connect v3 to remaining all vertices so v3 to v1 is already connected v3 to v2 is already connected now remaining is v3 to v4 so that now we have to connect so there is a, a last vertex a v4 and that is a last second vertex v3 so at a last second vertex uh, you have only one possibility to connect the v3 to v4 so that is only one possibility here. So here third vertex connect at most uh, one vertex is here at V3 there is only one possibility. It means for n vertex graph the last second vertex means uh, it is a nth vertex. So that, that will be the n minus one vertex. So n minus one vertex uh, can be connect at most one vertex is here means you can create only one edges uh, from the n minus one vertex. And at the last vertex there is no any possibility to connect to uh, remaining all vertices here because already are connected there and if we create by another edges that will be create either loop or parallel edges 
so it is not possible to connect a v4 by another edges to remain in all vertices here so that is a proof and now let us uh, explain all the uh, graph here so as we know that the first vertex is adjacent at most remaining n minus 1 vertex and it means maximum number of edges there n minus 1 for n vertex graph right now and the second vertex connect n minus 2 vertex here so maximum number of edges there n minus 2 and similarly the third vertex can be connected remaining n minus 3 vertex it means the number of edges there n minus 3 and continue this process up to the last second vertex means n minus 1 vertex can be connected at most one vertex there is only one possibility at a vertex v3 and the last vertex means v4 there is no any possibility remaining to connect or to remaining all vertices there it means the nth vertex cannot be connected to any other vertex since it is already connected to all remaining vertices there and now uh, we have to collect all the edges and that you have to take it sum here more d means sum of all edges so number of edges at a vertex v1 at a vertex v2 v3 v4 up to vn so what is the possibility at v1 there is n minus 1 edges uh, at a second vertex there is n minus 2 edges at a third vertex there is n minus 3 up to the at n minus 1 vertex there is a 1 possibility and at nth vertex there is a 0 possibility there so that can be right as a start with a 1 so here 1 and then its number will be 2 3 4 n minus 3 n minus 2 n minus 1 so that can be right in this way and here it is 0 there the 0 can be right as a n minus n and now that is a sum of 1 2 3 up to n so that can be right as a sum n and sigma n means uh, that is right n into n plus 1 by 2 minus n and simplify that one uh, after solving that we get answer is n into n minus 1 by 2 means the total number of ages the maximum ages in a simple graph is n vertex that equal to n into n minus 1 by at 2 and you can also check this formula for this graph here it is a 4 vertex in this graph and maximum number of edges will be 4 into 4 minus 1 by 2 by using the formula. So 4 into 4 minus 1 by 2 will be 6. You can check that you can create a 6 edges with number of vertices 4 to become a simple graph. So it is a proof of the simple graph. Thank you for watching for this video.